Yo, you what's Gooch? This is Smitty, your man's in Cross. Thank you for checking us out on Unstrung, Unfiltered. Guys, I'm on a limited time slot on this video because my phone sucks, but this video is definitely the must have, must need for stringers. This is how I work my magic, guys. I couldn't do without these darn tools. So here's, let's go straight to it. You're gonna need a starting clamp. It doesn't have this baller, this kimoni or Yonex uh, starting clamp. It can be just anything. They start from 50 bucks all the way to 100, and uh, this one's 250. However, you do need a starting clamp. It helps you out in a bind. You know, the industry standard calls for it. You can, you, you can start your crosses on this. If you're short of string, you can use this as a bridge. So definitely get yourself one. A starting clamp, that's my number one thing. Um, reliable nippers. Guys, do not um, do not go cheap on nippers. Expensive, however, very much needed. You use this all the time, guys, to cut strings. You want it to be sharp. Um, I invested in these two, and, and, and they're, they're my best. Broom, string bed cutters. Piggybacking on that, nippers. If you're using nippers to cut your, your string bed, dude, why are you wasting your time? You're just messing up the blade edge. Get yourself some of these like hedge clippers, baby. Boom. These are serrated blades. This is from Technifib. Uh, string bed cutter. They're amazing. Invest in a, in a great one, guys. These two type of awls. One's a blunt, both of them are blunt nose awl. One's one that's to straighten my strings and one of them to kind of get my um, strings into tight little spots. And if it's even tighter than that, you gotta get this, um, I guess, an awl path or a, um, a string. Um, Pathfinder, I guess, uh, there's a professional name, I can't think of it right now, but um, this helps you when you're really blocked, you can kind of guide this through, open this hole, string goes through there, and it slides right through it and gets it out of the grommet. Um, a bent nose needle plier, you're gonna need that to get in tight spots when you probably do a tie off or try to get those strings on the side. Also, this is kind of a little razzle dazzle, I have a cam action clamp. I love using this um, to tie my knots and stuff like that. Please, I mean, I see people use starting clamps to tie a knot and, and to each its own. However, use the tools that are designed for its purpose and I find out the clam action clamp works really best. So guys, those essentials. Don't forget to subscribe. If you like this video, tell me what you use. Am I missing something that you guys use? And um, please, uh, in the description below, uh, I'll list some of these products and the names. But um, Check us out on Instagram. If you are not an Instagram follower, dude, there's so many great videos and uh, tips and tricks on there. And thank you, everybody, for supporting us. Peace.